seen Mia grow up. Love this little girl and so proud of her profession of faith. And uh, it is my honor today to be able to baptize her. So may you stand closer to here. To me today is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. up here with Brody um, to tell a little special story. I'll try not to cry. Um, I've worked with uh, children for the last few years and I guess with Brody since maybe he got here. And uh, a few weeks ago we were doing the kids curriculum over with Pastor Jen listening to the little puppets you know do their British accent and it was the Easter Sunday I believe and uh, during the video, there was they had done the, they had showed the crucifixion, and then they had showed Jesus again walking with the disciples after the crucifixion. And I'm sitting on the floor next to Brody, and Brody taps me on the shoulder and says, "Well, what's he doing walking around if they killed him?" And I said, "Well, he, remember he resurrected and he came back for 40 days to share with everyone what they were supposed to do." And then he asked me, he said, well, then where is he now? I said, well, he's in heaven. What's he doing? He's like, well, the Bible says that he is preparing a place for us. And Brody, I mean, I barely got it out of my mouth. And Brody said, like we prepared our house the other day when our life group came over. And in that moment, just the spirit just quickened in me. He's ready. He gets it. And I said, yes, Brody, it's exactly like that. Brody said, well, our house wasn't totally ready because there were still some fingerprints on the glass dining room table. I said, I know, Brody, but everything looked good, didn't it? So he made a profession of faith uh, on Easter Sunday after Sunday school class with myself and with mom and dad and has made the, the move to be baptized here. So congratulations, Brody. know that God reveals himself to kids, and um, so it is my honor today, Brody, to step over here. It's my honor today to baptize you, to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. last year of baptizing Nathan's mom and dad. <laughs> and now I get to baptize Nathan. Nathan, have you given your heart to the Lord? You're ready to live for him so everybody knows that you're, you're his follower? You might see Nathan sometimes at 9 o'clock sitting up here next to the drums with a headset on as Mike Murray continues to, uh, to mentor her and him in that gift. I told him it would be a lot easier if he just played the clarinet. But uh, I'm excited to see this young man grow in the Lord. Can't wait to see you continue to grow. So let's turn this way. Hold your nose, your wrist, and as your pastor, I am so proud to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Watch, no one will be waiting for me right there with the towel. When I'm <laughs> this is Claire. Claire says it's no big deal. There's nothing to this, nothing to the water. Claire, have you asked Jesus in your heart? Yeah, when did you do that? Do you remember? In January. Well, this is very exciting to be able to stand today with you to make your public profession of faith. Let's step a little further this way. You're tall.
Sister May Lynn have been running away from me for the last six months, haven't they? And every time I get close to them, they would run from me. It's just something that happens around here. And when they asked to be baptized, I said, You realize I'm going to have to touch you. <laughs> do you remember when you gave your heart to Jesus? Yeah? When did you do that? When you were four. Well, praise God. It's such a pleasure to have you and become your friend and your pastor. You step up here. It's my privilege today, my to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. and dads who adopt. Anthony's not adopted. But moms and dads who adopt you bring children into your home. You introduce them to Christ. Bravo. Bravo. Anthony, tell a little bit of your story. How you landed here and what God did in your life. Um, for my entire life, uh, my, my family is Hispanic, so for my entire life I've been going to a Hispanic church, and I never, I never really enjoyed going to church. I always hated going because I never understood Spanish, and I just went there all the time wasting, and I felt like I was wasting my time going there all the time. So uh, usually when we go on a trip, uh, we go to the church so that the pastor can pray for our family so we have a safe trip going to a place and coming back. And it was my dad's uh, it was my dad's mom's birthday in Puerto Rico, so we went to the church to have the pastor pray for us. And usually, when he prays uh, for families, he prays for for families in a group. He doesn't pray like you know, setting people aside. But on this occasion, he sat me aside and he prayed for me, and he started prophesying that um, I was going to be a Samuel. I was going to be on the highest of mountains. I was going to preach the word, and obviously I didn't care what that meant because I didn't, I never read the Bible before in my life, and when we come back from the trip from Puerto Rico, my dad and I are driving down the road, and then we see this church, and my dad stops in the middle of the road, and he sticks his hand out the window, and he says, Anthony, I feel that the Holy Spirit is telling me to, for you to go here tomorrow morning on Sunday, and I've always wanted to feel the Spirit in my life never have before so I said yes I'll go so I go and Pastor Charlie is doing an epic Bible series of Old Testament stories and he goes on the stage and he says well I'm gonna well we've been doing this series of epic stories from the Old Testament and today I'm gonna do something a little bit differently I'm gonna talk about the story of Samuel and it was just about like just about how, how to become a, follow, a follower and how you can send your life to Christ. 
Christ. And um, the first time I came here last July was the first time that I ever accepted Christ in my life. And I don't regret it. Talk about a heart. You know, I mean, go walk into a church, he doesn't know anybody, walk in, he's sitting, he sat right here on the front row where he gave his heart to the Lord. Anthony, it's a. Uh, proud of you. I know your mom and dad are. Your profession of faith and your decision to follow after him. And may everything that God has spoken over you happen in the name of Jesus. So today, Anthony, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. for quite some time, but uh, you decided today to be baptized. you want to share anything about that, dude? Well, I've been a, Jesus has been my Savior for over 30 years, but I never had the opportunity to be baptized, and so when Pastor Charlie challenged us a couple weeks ago, he said, if, if there's more to be had, I don't want less, and that made a lot of sense, so uh, I'm taking this opportunity to I said, if I don't want, if God has more, I don't want less. Praise God. Let me get you so I don't hit the ladder. <laughs> okay. Dean, as your pastor, it's my privilege today to stand with you in this pool to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 